Um, first of all then, uh, why have you said yes to the Golden Globes for a third year? Well, um, one, because it's some of the best fun I've ever had. You know, it's, uh, I, did it, I did it for the first time. Um, I suppose to sort of, you know, write and perform one-liners. I don't usually do that in stand-up and uh, it's very different to write in, in narrative sort of TV comedy. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I did it a second time because I wanted to improve on the first. I think I, um, I think I did that. Um, the worry was, could I improve on the second? Um, but I think so. There's, al there's always another little boundary to push. Um, but mainly I did it to shut those people up who thought that, you know, it was the end of my career and that everyone was outraged and I'm banned from America. I mean, it's been the end of my career once a week for the last 10 years. Um, and um, whenever there's a scandal, it's always the end of my career and then, you know, it, it's ridiculous. So um, I did it for all those reasons, but mainly because it's fun, you know. Win, lose or draw, it makes no difference to me doing the Golden Globes. It's, it's not part of my career. Come Monday morning, I'll be writing something else, you know. Which is fun as well, because I'm not beholden to any of those people in the room. So I can say exactly what I want. And I made a decision, um, really, la last year, that um, I shouldn't be doing it for the, the 20 egos in the room. I should be doing it for the 200 million people watching at home. And, and I'm going to do that this year. So um, I'd say to people in the room, be afraid. <laughs> So no toning down at Definitely all? Definitely not. There'd be no point in doing that because I'd let down everyone. The people who didn't think I should do it, but, you know, who didn't want me anyway, the people who are waiting to, to, to see me go as far or even further than last year. So, um, no, you don't want to fall between two stalls. I, I do what I do and I look at it in a sort of Darwinian framework. I do exactly what I do and let's see if I survive or not. At the moment, it's working. It, it, after last year, there was a suggestion, there was sort of a, a tumbleweed moment and, and really that America didn't really get what you were trying to do. But do you feel that, uh, that you do engage with the American audience? Uh, well, yeah. You know, the ratings went up and that's why NBC have asked me back. They've been going up you know, each year I've done it. I think you got 17 million viewers, so someone liked it. Um, but, you know, in all honesty, I do it for me. I, I'm going to do jokes that I think are funny or that I think are right or that I, I'll enjoy performing. Um, so um, it's a myth that Americans don't get English humour or, or comedy. There's 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 so much back and forth. It's just it's just not true. But there are there are smart people and dumb people everywhere. There are people that get it, people that don't get it. People that like this, people that like that. It, you know, it, there's there's no real generalisation really. Um, I, I think what people saw was some people in the room horrified. Um, but who cares? And um, in terms of feedback from some of the, the names that you did target last year, have you had much back from them? Do they, do they actually find well, it funny? It's or? all been good. I don't, see, I don't know who was you know, mortally offended. I don't, I don't know where these people are. I think if someone shouts controversy, then there is controversy. But, you know, Johnny Depp was meant to be offended. He's in the new show. I called him up. He went, of course I wasn't offended. Robert De Niro called me the day after, saying it was hilarious. And he said, do you want me... Do you want me to speak to anyone? I thought we was going to have someone whacked. Um, you know, Will Smith called me up and said, fantastic. So I don't, I don't, know, I don't know where these people are who were so horrified. Um, but if they were, I don't care either. <laughs> so you're really just looking forward to it. You're not really worried about, about how it's going to be received. Um, uh, I've never really worried about how it's going to be received. You know, I'd rather people like what I do than not. But I... Um, I cherish the gasps as much as the laughs, really. Um, and I think you've got to assume as many people dislike what you do as like what you do. Uh, otherwise, you're not doing anything, you know. You've got to make a connection. At least they're listening. Do you set out to shock or never. to amuse? No, no, uh, never set out to shock. It's too easy. It's too easy. There's no victory in it, and it's pointless. I, I set out to amuse, but I set out to amuse myself. And if anyone else likes it, brilliant. Come along. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. That's brilliant.